Hello everyone. So I know a lady, she is a beautician and she was very prayerful. So what used to happen, she used to get big clients and great deals. Whenever she used to go, she used to think of going to prayer service. So they used to come at the same time. So she used to attend this big clients and uh, in the middle of the service, these clients used to get a call from their family members and they used to just go away. So this lady understood that evil one is giving her empty promises and false deals to this clients and so that she may not go for prayer. So friends, this lady is none other than my own mom. Yes. So today we are going to talk about this false deals and this empty promises of the evil one which he gives us. So friends, the greater the anointing, the greater the temptation. Yes friends, the greater the anointing God has in your life would be, the greater would be the temptation. How? Let's look in the Bible. So in the Old Testament we see Joseph. Joseph was a very righteous man, a man who used to love God and you know, God had this plan for Joseph to become the governor of Egypt. Now, Joseph was moving towards this plan, but evil one had an offer for Joseph. And this offer was from Potiphar's wife. Yes, Potiphar's wife asked Joseph to sleep with him. And Joseph, being a righteous man, faithful to God, he said, How then could I do this great wickedness and sin against my God? Yes, friends, that is how Joseph responded. Joseph said, I cannot sin against my God. And he rejected the offer of the evil one and he became the governor of Egypt. Friends, if we look in the New Testament, we have Jesus. Now, what, uh, what was the plan of God for Jesus to become the savior of the world? But evil one wanted to trap Jesus. So we look in the Luke chapter 4, we see Jesus full of Holy Spirit, returned from the Jordan and was led by the Spirit in the wilderness. And there he was tempted for 40 days by the devil. Yes, friends, just before Jesus could start his ministry, evil one give, tries to give him offers and deals like bow down before me, worship me. So evil one knew that if Jesus accepts this offer, he will not die for the sins of people and become the savior of the world. But Jesus rejected these promises and therefore he became the savior of the world. Now friends, God has an interesting plan for your life and my life. We don't know what God has in store for us, but yes, before I could start this YouTube channel, before I could join the ministry of the word, I know that evil one was trying to tempt me. He was trying to tempt me because I was in my wilderness. I was in the wilderness zone and he was offering me, uh, you know, uh, wrong relationships of, uh, you know, three to four boys at the same time were approaching me, which was very strange. And I understood that evil one wants me to go in this wrong relationships. And I just rejected the offer of the evil one. I said, no, because of the grace of God, because of his help, I could say that. So friends, I am telling you all these things because probably you are struggling with some kind of addiction, some kind of temptation, some kind of distraction. And these are false promises. They are empty, you know, empty promises because they look attractive from outside, but there is nothing inside them. So how we are going to get her out of it? What is the solution and scriptures? Both I'm going to share now. Just stay tuned. So scriptures which are there is Romans 16, 19 says, Be wise in what is good and be guileless in what is evil. The God of peace will soon crush Satan under your feet. The God of peace will crush Satan only when you are wise in what is good and guileless in what is evil. Matthew 10, 16 says, See, I am sending you out like a sheep into the midst of wolves. So be wise as serpents and innocent as doves. 1 Corinthians 10 13 says, No temptation has overtaken you, which is what is common to mankind. And God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. But when you are tempted, He will provide a way out so that you can endure it. 
so basically friends we should not be carried away by this emotions and feelings but we should be wise in what is good we should be wise enough to know what decision we need to take in life now friends we all what is the solution to come out of this what is the solution to come out of this problems if you look very carefully the first and foremost the first solution is keep jesus the first person in your life the first priority in your life because if there is any addiction if you are feeling attracted to a person if you feel that uh, you you know you are probably getting a job offer you are getting uh, you need to make some commitments in your life surrender it to the lord and say lord if this is for me let it be so if this is not for me take it away you can say this only when jesus is the first person in your life second point second point is this uh, friends uh, you know when god has given you some plan or some project if you if he wants you to sit in prayer at a particular time evil one will tell you this is not your business you cannot do this you cannot he will discourage you you are tired you know you just don't pray you don't don't read the scriptures you know whatever assignment is given don't do it so he probably will tell you just run away from the plan of god so don't run away be in god's plan be where god wants you to be third point third point goes like this friends he will confuse you he will confuse you and he will tell you you know you get busy with this activity but don't do this which god wants you to do he will tell you don't do service 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 some service is good but too much service service and don't concentrate on what god wants you to do so probably he will get you involved in a different activity so that you may not complete the project which god has for you friends i'm telling you this because of my own personal experiences i know how evil one wants to trap us and how beautiful plan which god has for you and for me so friends resist the devil resist the devil and say no to all his empty promises because god has the best plan for you as he had for joseph to be the governor of egypt as he had for jesus to be the savior of the world god has a plan for you and god has a plan for me so let's Uh, let's say no to the devil and yes to god's plan that's it for today bye bye